Superstars, good day, Legends. Peps here, and I'm bringing you tipped outs round 23 tips for a massive week of AFL football. Eight quarters of football to go, 18 games of football to go until we hit the finals, and it is still anyone's game for who want to play finals. We know there's going to be plenty of teams missing them, but that top four, top eight, I don't think it's 100% locked in just yet. But one thing I do know, it's all kicking off this Friday night, 7.40 p.m. at Marvel Stadium. The Essendon Bombers versus the Sydney Swans. Swans got the win against Collingwood in controversial circumstances last week. And Essendon lost after the siren again. So where does this put this game for a massive Friday night under the dome? Well, I think Essendon are a pretty good chance if the Sydney of old, and when I say old, probably the last six weeks turns up. If that happens, Essendon have got this. But I think Sydney have learnt their lesson from last week. I think they showed a bit more grit, a bit more determination, and their midfield started to fire a little bit more than it has over the last number of weeks. It's not going to be a t it's not going to be an easy one under the dome there at Marvel Stadium. I am picking Sydney just because they are on top of the ladder and they need to kick into some form heading into September. For Essendon, it's going to be another, let's just say, honourable loss, one that the fans will definitely not like, but hopefully it will give them a little bit of that hope heading into season 2025. So Sydney to take this one out by no more than three goals. Right here, Saturday, 1.45 p.m., this is the lock of the weekend. If there is no more of a guaranteed win, this is going to be it. Gold Coast Suns versus the Melbourne Football Club at uh, PFS Stadium up there at the Jab of the Hut. Sorry, the uh, Carrara Stadium. I forgot about that. Up there on the Gold Coast. Gold Coast will win this one and win this one quite easily. Here's why. Gold Coast haven't, I don't think, lost at home all season. All right. Melbourne. Can't win at the moment. Too many players out. Oliver's out. Petrarca's out. We know that. Gorn is playing on one leg. They've got too many kids running around. It's going to be really, really difficult for Melbourne to win this one. They've had the week from hell. Petrarca wants to leave. Neil Bullen wants to leave. Vardy wants to go. Oliver wants to go. The supporters just don't go. And the Gold Coast, look, they're virtually running on full strength. I don't know what they're missing. And at home, it's just going to be too big, too strong. Gold Coast to win by at least five goals. And really, really put the pressure on Goodwin and the Melbourne administration to pull their uh, act together and get something organised by uh, season 2025. Hey, there's something that you need to do if you haven't done it right now, is that you need to hit the subscribe button. We at Lace Out want to hit 1,000 subscribers by the end of the year. And we can only do it if you hit that button. So subscribe, ring the bell, tell everybody how awesome we are because we're tipped out, we're laced out, and it's how you want your footy. Hey, who also likes their footy? It's the GWS versus Fremantle, Saturday, 1.45 p.m. at NG Stadium. This is a game that I recommend that you definitely go and watch. Don't worry about the Ds versus Gold Coast. That's a path. That's a farce. This is going to be, I reckon, the game of the weekend. GWS, awesome last week. Frio had that loss to Geelong, and now they're making their way across the country GWS, are they the form team outside of Hawthorne at the moment when you look at who is playing some crackling football? I think they are. They've got a massive chance not just to get a top four spot, but potentially a top two spot and get home finals for the whole season until the grand final if they win everything. Fremantle, they just need to win to make finals, which about a month ago you would have thought wasn't going to happen. But they've hit a bit of a, a funny patch at the moment. GWS are going to win this one. They're going to win it by probably three or four goals. And it's just their midfield and their forward line is so dynamic. They run the ball so fast. They're so quick across the ground. The transition work is just amazing. And I think Fremantle do rely on their midfielders and forwards. I think they are still a little bit susceptible down back. If you get the ball in there quick, they don't like that. They don't like setting up uh, in a haphazard behind the ball. And GWS to continue, and my man, Jesse Hogan, to continue his drive to win the Coleman medal. He'll kick four this week quite easily. Right, yeah. The game of the weekend in Melbourne is going to be Saturday, 4.35 p.m. MCG, Collingwood versus the Brisbane Lions. We saw Collingwood go down last week. We saw Brisbane have a shock loss against GWS. So who's going to take this one out? Well, Collingwood season's virtually over. Even if they win, they have to win their next two games. And even with that, they are still a mountain of percentage out. And I think the Brisbane Lions know that if they win this, they are a massive shot at getting not just top two, uh, because if the GWS fall over, 
not just top four, I mean, top two in the ladder as well too. So I'm going with Brisbane Lions over this one. I think last week was a bit of a hiccup. Fags would have put them on call. Collingwood, I know they are a better team at the MCG, but I just think the firepower for Brisbane will be just a little bit too much. And I don't think their forward line really worries uh, the Brisbane Lions backs at this stage. So Brisbane, probably very tight for most of the game. I'm going by four goals. But this wouldn't be a surprise if Collingwood teases their supporters for another week with a potential win and maybe giving them some hope to play some September action, which I don't think that they will. Right, yeah. Showdowns. We love it. Adelaide Oval. Saturday, 7.30 p.m. Rocky. Drago. Rocky. Clubber Lang. Rocky. Apollo Creed. Lance Bass. Timberlake. All dynamic duos. This is going to be an absolute slaughter fest. Port Adelaide were brilliant against the Dogs. They've got a bit of form at the moment. And Port Adelaide had the virtual bye against the Ds last week. But at the Adelaide Oval, these two teams hate the living shit out of each other. And this is why I think Adelaide are going to cause a bit of an upset here. I think Adelaide, after their win last week, will be absolutely flying. They'll have the wind in their sails and they're going to say, hey, we're not going to be giving our neighbours down the road double chance. We want to put them into the bottom half of the eight and make them struggle to get a finals, grand final spot. So I think Adelaide are going to win this one. They're going to win it by no more than two goals. And Port Adelaide are going to get a little bit of the shakes and their chances of finishing top four might just slide just a little bit. Right here, St Kilda versus Geelong. This is going to be quick. It's going to be at the same time at 7.30 p.m. But let's be honest, we're all going to be watching the showdown unless you're a St Kilda or Geelong supporter. St Kilda haven't been too bad in the last couple of weeks, but I will say Geelong, uh, with their great win over there in Fremantle, they've rebuilt on the fly only the way that Geelong can. And Geelong will win this one, even though it's not at their home ground. They don't mind the fast track. They have got some lovely speed through the midfield. And Jezza Cameron, after his cracking game last week, will have another bounty this week. I know he's going to be playing on Wilkes, but that doesn't make much of a difference. I just think the ball moving from Geelong through their midfield is going to be way too quick. And when you got close, uh, Myers at the feet uh, of uh, their, their main forwards in Cameron, et cetera, that's going to be way too quick. And, and St Kilda, they're, they're only a couple of people away from being the, uh, another Melbourne. That's how bad that they're traveling at the moment. So Geelong, five or six goals, easy. righty -o. Kicking in to the Sunday games. Western Bulldogs, North Melbourne Football Club, Sunday, 1.10 p.m. at Marvel Stadium. I actually think this is going to be a pretty good game. Western Bulldogs spewing after their loss on the weekend uh, against Adelaide. North Melbourne threw a victory away against West Coast down there in Tasmania. They're both tenants at Marvel Stadium. This will be fast. This will be quick. North Melbourne forwards will not fear the back line of the Western Bulldogs, and the Western Bulldogs forwards will not fear the... Uh, back line of North Melbourne. So that means the midfields are going to play really hard. And when you've got Wardlaw, Cheezel against the Bont and Trelaw at the moment, <laughs> oh, I'm absolutely excited. Love what the Cheez is doing. So I'm going, though, with some Bulldogs. They need a win to lock in that final spot. I do think that they're going to make it. And this is the one that they need to do. It might be a bit close early on, but I think at Western Bulldogs will be five or six goals. It may even get further uh, if the Bulldogs forwards get a hold of the non existent back line. Right here. Hawks versus Richmond. 3.20 p.m. MCG Hawks. We love what the Hawks are doing. They are the best team in it right now outside of the GWS, and yet they still haven't made finals. They are sitting eighth, and they need to keep winning. And if you think about it, they've got Richmond, and I think they've got North in the last round. They have got a mint of a run, and they will be playing finals. Richmond are virtually the buy right now. Everybody's leaving. The rats are uh, deserting the ship, and Uze is going to be sitting back going, just give me all the draft picks. Let me build these kids up from scratch. Hawthorne by a minimum 50-60. This is a 10-goal-plus win, and I wouldn't be surprised if they're 10 goals in front by half time uh, to once again get some more percentage and get that split from uh, 9th, 10th, and 11th. Right here. Last game of the weekend, and here is my upset alert. Roo, roo, ring it right now. West Coast Eagles versus Carlton. Sunday, 4.40 p.m. at Optus Stadium. West Coast will win this. With all the injuries that Carlton have got, having to travel over to West Coast, who love playing at home. Schofield's got them up and running. They've got their win from last week. They are flying at the moment, which they weren't doing in the first half of the season. Oscar Allen's in great form. They've got Reed running around, which everybody loves. Gaff's going to be finishing up. We know all those sort of bits and pieces. Rioli down forward. The back line with Barras, et cetera, that will be way too strong. Remember, Kerno's not going to be there. Sars not going to be there. Martin's not going to be there. Fogarty's not going to be there. 
Uh, I don't even know who's turning up. If you're in Carlton gear, turn up to Optus. You might be able to get a game for them like a few people did for West Coast a couple of years ago. But West Coast to win this one, I reckon by about three or four goals and really put a dampener in the chances of Carlton playing finals. When if you think about it, about hmm, six to eight weeks ago, they were sitting top two and talking uh, Carl Flag or Flagton, whatever you want to call it. But hey, that's going to be our round 23 tips for a massive week of AFL football. Right, j Dog and I will be back Monday night, 8 p.m. live on YouTube and Facebook. Join us uh, to be part of the show. Get on chat. Everybody loves it. Make sure you like, subscribe, ring the bell, tell everybody about us as well too because we want to give you these tips each and every single week, except for last week. I was sorry, I was a little bit crook. But more importantly, we love everything about you guys. We love bringing it to you. And uh, if you haven't seen my football about uh, my video about boxes, I mean, footballers turning boxes, quite a, quite a bit of a look as well too. But hey, hope your team wins and have a great week.